Okay, welcome. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Oh yeah, our pleasure. Hey, Petey. Sweetie Petey, sweet pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so our mission is to educate and inspire, and I think your showroom is both inspirational and just how you grew it is educational, and I would love for you to share that with the team, and then any other information on how our team can best work with your team when we're doing purchasing and fabric samples and all of that fun stuff. Awesome. We want to give you a little tour. We're going to walk you around the showroom, too. Perfect. So it'll be more interactive. Yay. Peter's phone is ringing because we're old people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, where my head's not. Uh, I'll get the whole plant there. All right. So, I'm Jeff, and this is Peter. We are husband and husband team. We started um, the huge showroom nine years ago, almost exactly. Yeah. This week. Um, and we are on the fourth floor of the design center, right down the hall from you guys, or where you used to be. It's just a pink door for the last year. Um, I've been in the business for a long time. I'm not going to say how long, um, but I, I've worked at a lot of different showrooms. I've worked at corporate showrooms. I've worked at uh, multi-line showrooms, and uh, we we brought that experience here to Hume. You used to run a show a design firm. Oh yes, I also ran a design firm for ten years, which gave me a lot of insight into what you guys, how you guys work, what you guys need what you're really asking for when you're asking for it. Um, so that has really um, helped us a lot in growing this business because we treat it a little bit differently because we have that insight. Um, anything else to know about? You no, know, I started um, with Ted Berner, one of the lines we actually represent. Um, I started as a receptionist at Ted Berner and then ended up working there for 12 years, touched kind of every um, aspect and was did national sales and traveled around all their showrooms. Um, then I went and was working for Jun Ho for a year um, and pulling his production out of China. Um, and then I went and got into the showroom booth and worked at Michael Taylor. Um, and that's where I met uh, the team from Paul Ferrante. And Jeff had, was running, when he was running the design firm, was also at a retail store and was kind of bored with running the retail store. Um, came home, said he wanted to close it. Um, I knew that Paul Ferrante was unhappy at the showroom they were at. Um, and so we looked at each other and said, let's open a showroom. And that was probably February-ish. And by July, we were up and running um, in a tiny little space with just Paul Ferrante, a little 2,000 square foot showroom. Um, and that was nine years ago. Yeah, so while we were building out the original showroom, the building... Um was kind enough to let us use a small space. It's now part of Shears and Windows. So we kind of started there. We built out 5,000 square feet here. And then um, in 2018, we took over another 5,000 square feet. So now we're 10,000 square feet. Um, we have 40 plus vendors. And um, I, I would say it's all about, you know, for us, our, our business philosophy is just to be as helpful as possible. It's all relationships you guys can buy any of the stuff that we have or stuff like it somewhere else. You know, our job is to make it easy for you to go to your design meeting and say, you know what, I wanna, I wanna push this piece from him because I know they're gonna take care of me. Um, I like those guys. And that's kind of our secret sauce. We're also, we're also just a part of the community. It's, you know, we're all a community. We're a, we're a small business. Your guys are a small business. Our vendors are small businesses. So we're all just, we just um, take care of all those small businesses. Yeah, most of our vendors are family businesses. Um, we don't have any big corporate monster show uh, vendors. So it, it is all about relationships. And we can call in special favors if needed. Um, and most of them love to, to uh, host designer to travel and go down there to our factories and see their capabilities and really and see what they can do. Yeah, well, a lot yeah. of them, we have some in the Bay Area and some on the East Coast. I think like one of... I would think one of the components to your success is you guys are great marketers, both yeah. with event planning, client outreach, uh, brokering relationships. You really go the extra mile for your clients. And then I think you have a strong understanding of social media and social media presence. We do. And, that, and, to, and to me personally, that's the fun stuff. 
Peter likes to put together parties and stuff like that. I like the social media, print advertising, all of that. Um, so to me, that's the fun part. But yeah, we do. We are pretty active on social media, and I think that has uh, played in our favor over yeah. the years. Do you think that that really helped you during the pandemic? Oh God! When you yes. couldn't meet people in person. Yeah. Well, we communicated things that we were doing. Um, you know, we started the Facebook page that right, like on March 16th of that year. And that, um, that besides being a great resource for designers, and it continues to be to this day, um, we leveraged it for more press, quite frankly. And 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 we got some we got some uh, print and we got some uh, online coverage. So that was. It, it, that was a win-win in my opinion and if you look at uh, the northern california interior design community on facebook and look at the southern california interior design community on facebook you'll see a world of difference this community cares about each other they share their resources um very supportive and a, a really safe space on that uh, on, on that page so if you're looking if you're needing a if you're needing something or not, not not able to find what you need from your resources, if you post on there, you'll get a lot of suggestions. Yeah, it's been really great to see people crowdsource solutions to problems on there and, and find new new sources, vendors. You won't find a contractor on there, but you can ask. <laughs> 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 the other social thing we did um, at, with, with uh, the pandemic was Jeff did all those house calls um, where he visited designers at their homes um, virtually and it was really a great way to stay connected and for people to see what's going on in other designers homes yeah the house calls were great and then the truffle shuffle i thought was right. a good one too that was a uh, those we did two of those super effective super expensive um but you know it played so really fun. well so much uh it was so much fun seeing you know designers at home with their spouses their children their dogs um just having a good time it was it was really fun and you got pressed from that as well. I think California Home and Design featured it yeah. or covered it. Our holiday yeah. party. And yeah. then uh, they went, the guys who started it went on the Shark Tank um, and got, got a deal. And they were communicating with me and Peter all along the way, thanking us for our support because so many designers then went and did Truffle Shuffle. Like, I know Kendall did it. Um, I think Julie Roots did it. So it could just kind of help their business. And you know, I don't know if everybody knows the story, but the truffle shuffle started because during the shutdown, these guys had bought a bunch of truffles and they don't have a long shelf life. And so they started this idea of doing these online cooking shows where they send you the ingredients and then you cook along with them. And it just kind of, just kind of grew, really exploded for them. So we're that's, that's a great story. That's really cool. That's another way you support small businesses is not necessarily through directly through design, but through other people who plug into the industry. Right, exactly. So, yes, thank um, you for bringing it. Yeah. Uh, Evelyn wants to know how did you decide to take on a new vendor or let go of a vendor? <laughs> well, <I got>. uh, <laughs> when we started out, we only had one vendor. So, anybody that wanted to come with us, we were like, yeah. So, we, we got a lot that way. Um, now we're at the top of it and um, we can't really take more vendors. So, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of uh, consideration around that unless somebody really spectacular came, but we're committed to the vendors that we have now and to helping them develop. Um, as far as getting rid of brands, I'll let Peter talk about that. <laughs> we don't have, um, we don't tolerate if they're behaving badly, if they have poor attitude, they don't have sales tools. Um, it, it, so many, uh, we have a really great line that we love the product from, but they're, not they don't have social presence they don't have sales tools there it's hard to get quotes or it's problematic with shipping we we don't tolerate that for very long we'll get rid of them because it's it ends up as a problem on your lap um eventually nobody wants to deal with that right um we do get Can a lot I, of go ahead i think you run your company like a gallery like an art gallery and you really are the primary marketers for everybody that you represent so i think it's important to have a relationship that you really feel that you can endorse and feel positive about a hundred percent but also just getting content from some of these people is really extraordinarily difficult and so i'm trolling magazines i don't like to just on social media i don't like to just post an image of a product i like to show the product in a designer's home that way i'm endorsing a designer the product 
um, and showing you a pretty picture, which is what Instagram is about. It's not a marketplace necessarily. So I try to avoid just product shots. How did your, so Callie has a question. How did your approach better suit Paul Ferrante goals than the showroom they were initially at? Was it difficult winning them over as a new showroom? It was, it was kind of difficult. It, we were, yeah, we were kind of an unknown. Peter was just a salesperson in the showroom, well, your showroom manager, and he was selling the product. Um, they didn't know, you know, they were with a big national, they were with Michael Taylor, who has showrooms all across the country. Um, but they took the leap of faith with us. And if they hadn't done that, we would, this wouldn't have happened. So, you know, Paul Ferrante is, you know, our, our core line. It's, we understand each other. They're very flexible with us. They try to rush things through when they can. They're very communicative and they know what our service level is. We need to, we turn things around 24, 48 hours normally, um, COVID or not. We, we try to stay within that. But, you know, we are, we are, we've gotten incredibly busy since the first of the year. So we're doing a lot more volume than we have in the past. We, we actually uh, rented a mezzanine office. We have, uh, we hired a new customer service person. So we have a two, uh, we have a two person customer service team. That's all they do, they're going to do is take care of you guys. Um, so that's been, those have been our growth initiatives to help us maintain these new numbers going forward and take care of you guys at the same level. That's great. Julia says, the way you curate your showroom is so unique and fresh and playful. Can you walk us through the process of when you restyle the showroom um, when new product comes in? It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's such a huge process. I get really grumpy. It takes about three weeks. Um, Fernando and I, and usually a couple people from a moving company, move everything around. But it's really like a giant puzzle. You know, you start with the way you want it to be and then compromise, 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 and so that everything fits. But um, I, we get a lot of compliments on the showroom, so I think it looks beautiful. But, you know, when you do it yourself, you know, you, you never give yourself credit for for how nice it looks. Always, I'm always comparing myself to other showrooms, but thank you for the compliment. And it's just, uh, it's fun to do it. It's just a massive backbreaking uh, challenge because we also have, over a hundred light fixtures to get moved as well. Yeah. So once you do the floor, then you have to move the lights. And to move the lights, you have to move the furniture again. And then you have to put the furniture back. And then you have to put a rug in, you have to move the furniture, then you have to put the furniture back. So it's a it's a lot of work. Do you try to do it twice a year? Yes. And Peter's not gonna let me do it anymore, I don't think. Yeah. The physical part. I mean I can't. <laughs> um but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you. It's a, it's, it's one of the favorite, it's one of my favorite parts about the job of style in the showroom, but it is back breaking. Mm -hmm. And you know, we don't have- You've done that well, for your- What's that? Go ahead. Um, I said you do a lot of styling for your clients too. So I, you style for your clients well, for in the past. I do. <laughs> 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 I used to do some with Cynthia too, but she's, she's stepped back a little bit, I think. Um, she said she does. she's you know renegotiating her life. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, styling. Yeah, I really I really enjoy that, and I think I'm pretty good at it. So, what's your least favorite part of the job? You are very good at it. Um, Other than looking handsome, that's serious. That's your second core strength. <laughs> yes. Well, some your of the good art... your good looks and your styling. Point the camera over here. This is a very difficult part of my job. Here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> 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 oh, it's nice to see y'all. <laughs> That's like, good morning. I think um, good morning. The, work, the, the most difficult part of the job is probably just getting the furniture here, wrangling, right? Well, for, for you, for styling? No, for just in general? general? Yeah, just in general. It's managing all the different quirky personalities that we have to put our vendors, because they're like from, you know, two people in a shop to like a big ass workroom. So it's managing all, all the different personalities, what their capabilities are and, and um, keeping every, keeping that train moving forward. Yes. And, and to know what they're saying when they say it, because um, they're also under the gun and I might not. Uh, um, you, you just have to understand their communication style and, 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 and keep drilling down until you get the answer that you want, I guess that's what I'm saying. So how can we be your star 
designers? How do we get to be the star students? And what things can we avoid that make you angry? Like ordering clear glass. <laughs> um, I don't know, you better be pleased to I, I, I... <laughs> You guys do a great job. You, you throw out white nets and ask for a lot of product. Um, Support the marriage. Yeah, yes. you, you ask good questions. Um, uh, I keep doing what you're doing, really. Um, I would say this is great, but now that we're open, I would say come get in here and look at the stuff, you know, flip through the fabric wings. Yes, we'd like to see really, you in here. Really touch the stuff and, and see what we're capable of. We'll put a mask on if you want. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So we wanted to, we wanted to, um, Clayton, to give you a little tour. So it wasn't so just us sitting here talking, maybe show you some, do the inspiration part of the presentation, if that's okay with you guys. And then you can ask questions. That as sounds we're going. great. So Clayton is our brand manager. He's inside outside sales. Um, and he's right there. Good morning. Oh, let's look around. Hi, everybody. My name is Clayton Bishop. I started here uh, in January of this year. So I am semi new to the team. We also have a new team member, Joanne, that's with us. Um, you may have known her. She's been in the design center for a little while, but let's take a little tour. Welcome in. Hopefully you can come in and see us in person soon. We would love that. Like the guy said, we have about 40 vendors. So there's a lot going on in the showroom and things change all the time. Come on with me, Fern. Introduce people. Do you have any questions? Feel free to type them in or here. I can still hear you. I just can't see. Them. We have this. Lovely table right here by John Lyle. I don't know if you've worked with John Lyle before, but he does some beautiful things. Fern, feel free to get into all of that. Um, it's a lovely carved crocodile lacquer that we absolutely adore. We know you have great taste, so we only look at expensive things, guys. <laughs> and if you have any questions about anything you see in the showroom while we're on this tour, feel free to let us know. We can go from there. Um, we have multiple different vendors, like I said, but they're all very unique. They all have their own story. They all, like they said, some of them have only a couple of people that work in their showroom. Others have a gazillions and have a giant production, kind of like the Paul Ferrante team, which is nice to see us growing as well as them growing as a company as well. So it really all is a win-win. Come on. Look at these, um, these shelving, the shelving units, kind of cool. Um, lots of different colors. And you'd think a cement concrete shelf would be super, super heavy and you have to like, reinforce the walls, but it's actually, it's got foam inside of it. Um, so they're really light, but super durable. A lot of our things are in the US, so it's really good on production times and uh, turnaround times on quotes and other things like that. All the standard finishes, bronze, brass. Who makes that? Uh, Oso, Oso Industries. They also do the little roller boy tables mm -hmm. right over here. Same company, they specialize in beautiful concrete work. Also, look like very heavy tables, but they're all on rollers. So they are very easy for if you're putting them inside the house, outside, whatever. Very nice. Let's see where we're going. And then I don't know if you've been in here since we took on Interior Crafts. Interior Crafts is a newer line to us, based out of Chicago, also pretty local. Um, and they can do some amazing work. Very good at upholstery. Um, they work in beds, sofas, really whatever. What's that wallpaper? That's from Atoll. Oh, it's gorgeous. And if anybody, speaking of that, um, our rep is actually coming in July. So if you guys would like to set up any presentation, um, we can definitely make that happen because she's got a lot of great work. And then Jeff happens to be sitting in an interior craft swivel chair. It is absolutely lovely. <laughs> Look at our model. Look at that back. She's beauty and she's grace, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> also behind him is a David Capello lamp that we just got in last week. Um, that's part of his newer collection. That is absolutely stunning. Jeff, I just had a Price is Right flashback. All right. I was, I was channeling. <laughs> so you guys, David Capello is a great resource. He's in Burlingame and he does all of this in-house. So you, you can you can customize it like crazy. Um, and he's got a really quick turnaround. He 
knock stuff out in three to four weeks. That's his line behind too. Yeah, this. And then um, Teresa has a question real yes. quick. She said, can you tell us a little bit about Marcali? They've um, really come through for us over the years for unique uh -huh. custom upholstery client requests. Marcali, speaking of one of their chairs is over here. But Marcali is one of those vendors that pretty much, if you say, I need this done, and we have no idea where it's going to come from, Marcali is probably going to be that guy. Marcali's made multiple different custom pieces for us like that right there. Um, he's really just impressive with his work. If you if we don't know where it's going to come from, Marcali's your guy. And that's a very, that's a small yeah, family owned business. Mm -hmm. They're, they're uh, it's a Hungarian family. They have uh, woodworkers and they're going back on their family. Um, and they're very flexible and we like them a lot. Yeah, custom upholstery, one off pieces. Sectional is theirs. So if you want to design something, it's, he's just consider that your workroom. He can do wood, metal, upholstery. Let's go over here and meet Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Hi. Good to see you. You may recognize her. She's been in the industry for like a few months or so. Just a couple weeks. <laughs> Just a couple weeks. <laughs> Get around. Hi, everyone. Come Glad to be her. here. Excited to, uh, would love to see you here. <laughs> Continue my journey and our relationships. Have some fun. Nice. Nice to meet you. I love I love everybody's um pride hewn shirts. Those are so cool. Aren't they awesome? I love We're doing them. Our photo shoot yeah. today. We have a photo oh, shoot. Pride photo shoot today. Stop. All right, let's go over here. Speaking of Capello, also his beautiful. We talked a little bit about Ted Berner. This is one of his desks, this lovely triad desk right here. It is a lovely. It just kind of switches up your regular home office, which as every, you probably know, everybody's now looking for a new home office and trying to figure out how they're gonna work from home, as all of you are pretty much. <laughs> so if you need a desk, here you go. He also has, we were talking about sales tools earlier and things that kind of make it easier for, for us uh, to work in the showroom as well as you designers. This sectional, as you can see right here, has got many different pieces to it, many different options, but it comes with a very cute little puzzle that we can kind of, you can come in and mix and match with your client to say, oh, that's not the configuration I want, or, you know, that really works for me. So things like this make it all worth it and make it life easier for us, easier for you. So you can kind of more realistically design with your client in the space as well. So Zimmer and Road is new since oh, the pandemic started. We've got Zimmer and Road installed, um, Potts and McKenzie, Travers, Boston Sun Fabric Shop. Um, Logan Montgomery is a great uh, line out of LA that's all outdoor performance fabric. And you guys know most of these Penny Morris needs specified to for Parrish. Um, Alex Conroy is local. And then of course we have all the rug company samples. We're still working to collaborate with, uh, with the showroom down in Jackson Square. We were talking about um, Fromital a little bit. And if you walk down this hallway really quickly, we have some beautiful pieces that you can see all there. Is. They do beautiful chinoiserie work, beautiful silks. Very intricate, very time consuming, yet lovely. And if you do want any samples of anything in here, um, we have a lot of memo samples, like we were talking about fabrics. We can uh, get some samples of this sent to your office as well. Just let us know. 
I don't know if you've seen this very subtle um, little tiny light picture that we have here made by Paul Ferrante as well. Just a little, I love little that subtle piece. sunset. Right. I like when it's I like when it's understated like that. Coming from Las yeah, Vegas, I can really blend in. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like same, same, same. <laughs> I'd wear it as a headdress if I could, but it's a gazillion pounds, so that's not an option. So, <laughs> I've tried. Alrighty. David Capello also um, just came out with these beautiful drink tables, which can be done in pretty much all of his medals. Stunning. Yeah, that is. Just a little ooh -ah sensation at the end. Love that. <laughs> Guys, pay attention. Jeff's working. Okay. Thanks a lot. Let's go meet Danielle as well. I think most of you know her. You've probably worked with her before. Danny G, come say hi. Hi, everyone. This is Danielle. Full face. Right. <laughs> Isn't it so weird? What do you what do, do we here, do? Danny? Uh, I do everything here. Uh, I'm fabric specialty, but really, whatever you need, just let us know. We're all here to help. Uh, love <laughs> we'd love to help. <laughs> we also have, um, like we were talking about that lamp that was behind Jeff when he was sitting down. This beautiful chandelier came in last week that we are semi-obsessed with. Made by David Capello, which is super great to have him in Burlingame. And just his turnaround times are like nobody else. I'm sure you're all struggling with turnaround times or lead times of... Yeah, we'll get that to you in like one to 78 weeks or so, or, which is not great. Yeah, that's one of our biggest struggles are the lead times yeah. right now. This is a cute new chair from uh, Alfonso Marina. A little sexy duck in the back. The brass inlay is absolutely beautiful, especially, so we have it in this beautiful brown, but um, if you see it on an ebony black, it's delicious. That's gorgeous. I love that. Keith Fritz is one of our main um, dining room table experts. He made this lovely triumph table here. We also just recently got in the Nantucket, which is that table right behind us over here that has self-storing leaves. That's really great because a lot of people are looking for extensions and they always wonder where am I going to actually put that leaf at the end of the day. It's not really makes it easier when it could just tuck away itself. That's amazing. And Keith Fritz has been out um, to the Hume yeah. showroom. He's so Im he's so impressive because he truly, truly is an artist. He's been, I think, creating these pieces since he was like 16, yes. if I remember him telling us it correctly. And he did piece. Mm -hmm. Go on, my love. Oh, I was going to say, and he's also done pieces for the Clintons, commissioned pieces. Yes. When the Clinton family left the White House, he made their dining room table. Um, he also... Like she said, when he was 16 and in high school, he did this wood shop project. So that's a very like small way to put it. But it was, he built like the castle to Narnia in an armoire version. Um, I don't know if, uh, if you need the picture, I can absolutely send it to you. When I was 16, I know that's absolutely not what I was doing, but he's <laughs> very, very impressive. <laughs> and we're really happy to have him. Oh, Aaron V. Um, just a lovely couple of them. I believe we've quoted some things with Aaron V before. Aaron V is based out of LA, um, a beautiful uh, female owned business, small business as well. You this might get emails from her occasionally. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is their Hunter yeah. console. And we have a lot of art in the showroom as well, which it's lovely. We have tear sheets for all of that. We uh, represent Ira Yeager and a bunch of other beautiful artists. So if you see anything you like, just let us know. Jeff likes to do this thing where he uh, sells the entire wall of art as well. So you can have one or 30. 
Pick your choice. He's a big emailer. <laughs> and is that is that the one that um, Antonio Martin styled? I know you collaborate sometimes with designers and with people in the art um, industry. That is mine. That is my. Yeah, he works. It looks great. Antonio does work with him. These are these are my creations. It's my ring. I love it. Which um, Callahan wants to know which everybody. styled. It's beautiful. Which lines are you most excited about right now and who's the most underrated in your opinion? I'll personally speak for one of my favorites, which is David Capello, just because he's so excited to work on specific projects. If somebody says, hey, I want this custom made, he's asking if he can reach out to the client, if he can ask questions, if he can figure out how they can do it best, what budget they're working with. He's very a hands-on owner, which is, sometimes rare to find within Bender. So it's really nice that um, he's such a go-getter within the design community. That's my I, I, I would say I attest to um, kind of the same reasons. They're owner-operated. They have everything really dialed in. Um, their paperwork is, is uh, really accurate, and their lead times, they hold to their lead times and do what they say. It's, and it's a really, it's a, I attest as a broad line. I encourage you to look at it. They have very traditional, they also have contemporary. Um, and it, it was bought in the last couple of years by two of the guys that worked there. So they really have a passion for it. What about you, Peter? I would say, I mean, I like all of our lines, um, but I'm really excited uh, with Ted Burner. Um, not only because I worked there for 12 years, um, but it is a great line. Ted's designs are so thoughtfully considered every detail. And what's really kind of fun is we're encouraging them to put on the floor some of the pieces he designed in the mid to late 90s that maybe haven't been getting a lot of energy. Um, but they're they're gorgeous. Like the Nest sofa we have up in the front of the showroom. That's why we're literally where he did he designed that in the 90s. Um, didn't have it on any showroom floors really. Um, we asked him to do it, we put it in this hand curve uh, wide wheel fabric, and it's just people are going crazy for it. Really beautiful sofa with the details. Um, and then Kirk fabric is very popular too. Yeah. And Kirk, another Gorgeous. great fabric line. <laughs> Kelly Holland did this as a second. Turned out beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I love the wood detailing. Yeah, it's really pretty. Especially if you're going to blow it out in the middle of the room. While we're on the tent burger train, he also has these beautiful nesting tables that are kind of like the triad dust that we were, uh, that I showed you in that lovely gray earlier. Multiple, we see requests for nesting tables all the time. So it's nice to have, out. of course you can slide them out. They're lovely, glamorous. <laughs> Those are beautiful. And he's got a smaller version as well. But you can really play around with them and have fun. It's got a smaller version as well, so if the space needs a little bit of tininess to it. Um, I don't know if you've seen Hulez since um, the since you've been in the showroom, but we have a lovely brand of trims borders and gorgeousness. We just have one or a million options. So feel free to come through and flip through them. And we can give samples to you and make sure that your needs are met. We also have, um, some of you have worked with Helena Mont. Helena Mont is also in LA. Uh, she has things like this beautiful safari chair. Um, also just a beautiful family owned company. It's really nice to see. Yes, sir. Oh, come along. Keep on coming. This is a beautiful I attest it. I attest that was not English. Sorry, I attest a <laughs> table. <laughs> and he just has so many different finish options, and they will send you finished samples. Um, it's just really nice to have all that for your designer meetings and client meetings. And this finish, whatever this is on this table, is indestructible. Because we would have destroyed it by now. <laughs> Still, many a luncheons have been had here. 
Um, some of you have worked with from way before. They are a lovely company that um, does print for order fabrics. And they also do lampshades and cushions. Um, so it's very nice to have a quick turnaround time on them as well. And, and very well priced, yeah. The fabrics and are so about, if, I'm sorry? If somebody's coming in for lampshades, would you guys be able to walk them through and educate them on how to do custom lampshades and maybe recommend the style um, for the lamp? 100%. They have, uh, for one, it sticks to a standard. Um, they have multiple different options, but they do have their standard sizes that they try and stay within. Um, but if you do need a custom version or a different size, we can navigate from there. Yeah, and Ferrante is a good resource as well for, for custom shades. Um, and we can get this for your library. This is all the different um, materials for the shades in this box. And do they have to, so if they're doing Paul Ferrante, do you do lampshades separate from Paul Ferrante? I always find that lampshades are one of the hardest things to design. Um, yeah. But what, once you learn it, there's so many more opportunities that you have to pull that room together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, lamps, yeah. lampshades are tricky. Um, but we can do them with Paul Ferrante. Paul Ferrante has a, a, a room in their factory that's just lampshade factory. So uh, we also represent Garrett leather. We have tons of leather options, faux and real. And if you want a sample, we got them. <laughs> Just a few options. We like to make sure you have choices. What else? Do you need jam? Yeah. We recently got this lovely tent burner bed in last week, surrounded in air and B on either side. This headboard, you can't really tell, is uh, scalloped. It's scalloped. It comes in and out. Angle for and Ted's, Ted's design on this was based on his grandparents' bed that was from them sitting up and reading it had actually dented it. Oh, wow. <laughs> A strange story turned good. I like it. <laughs> um, Iffy. Oh, that's right. We have Iffy Fabrics, which is a newer line to us as well. Tons of options, right, Joanne? Uh, what do you know about the really good brands? They're all double width. They're made in Europe. Just a beautiful, beautiful double width shears. Totally a lot of choices. So it's a great price point. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, price point's awesome. Speaking of fabrics, we should go meet Jan. Jan is our sample librarian who basically, if you say, hey, I need this, She'll find it in about eight different options. As Jan runs away, right? <laughs> Jan, Jan, your time to be a star, young lady. Here's Jan. She doesn't know what the hell's going on. Ask her tons of questions. She really loves that. <laughs> Here, the gem loves to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can hear it down the block, so really, we'll all hear it. Turn, turn the camera around. And let's be real, we would not be here without this absolutely lovely. Where are you? Nope, there you are. That's Fern. Fern pretty much makes everything we need to do happen. Fern's Fern. our go-getter, and we he's an absolute delight. Miss you guys soon. Hope to see you soon. Aww. I still remember your Mama Mia Fernando song. It's my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> and Fern's my favorite song, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, guys. Any more questions? I have one more question. Actually, I have two. My question is, you know, your husband and husband, and you work together. How do you guys make that work? I'm super patient. Because I do have some people who. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I know that about you. Wait, well, I work over there. He works over there. That's why. We, we drive separately. That's our alone time. So we drive to work. Oh, separately. that's a good tip. I like that. And, we, and we just coincidentally, we have completely different skill sets. So um, 
it's been yeah you guys do i like yeah. that about you guys yeah um and then also we have some designers that request shopping trips in la primarily because the client requests it and they want like a change of venue or feel like la is somehow different how yes. would we navigate that and or how would we use that um to hewn's advantage because we obviously love shopping with you well i mean you can you know if you if you see uh hewn represented band, brands down there i mean you're welcome to go into any showroom and look and, and ask for care sheets and stuff but just place your order through us if you're you're in okay, our okay and that's that's great and that's the same with the rug company correct yes yes you can go down but you know really putting the business through the hewn showroom is important well, I mean, we would appreciate it yes but um we work with them collaboratively and if um some mm -hmm. people are more comfortable working with the rug company showroom we don't hate them for it much <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's fine it's completely fine they're our friends and we're all on the same we're on the same team we have a lot of vendors that are based out of LA though. So that's kind of convenient for us and them all together that we're, they're local, but they're a little bit far away. So there's a change of pace for your shopping, but really it's the same stuff and we can all make the same things happen. Yeah. Okay. And would you be, would you help us put just an, if a client was unfamiliar with the LA uh, design scene, could you put together <laughs> a quick like short list of where to go and who to see uh, based on oh, own brands? Yeah, let us know what 100%. they're interested. Uh, Jeff has traveled to LA a bunch, so it's, he knows the area and the market really well. Um, so we can absolutely come up with some options. If you kind of give us their style and what they're looking for, we'll guide you. Sure. Yeah, it's a, it can be a really fun day in LA if you, if you plan everything out, you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And, uh, go to PDC, have lunch at Chaconis, then shop on Melrose. Perfect. It can be, it can be a lot of fun. Okay. And we great. can, you know. If you guys were interested in going to see the Paul Ferrante facility, they, they're they totally open to that. So what we have done in the past is you land at LAX, you drive to the Paul Ferrante facility, you get a little factory tour, and then you head up to Los Angeles all the way to uh, the design district and hit those showrooms, go to the PDC. That's amazing. And maybe some, um, maybe there's a, there's a brand new real reel on Melrose in Los Angeles. Ooh. <laughs> good luxury goods. I like that. I um, <laughs> <laughs> I have a new coat that I need to wear for you to see. To yeah, you you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's whipped cream. Sorry, I'm feeding the kids too. Uh, Amber Victoria says, hi, Jan. Miss seeing you at SFSU. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> And Mariana says, uh, you guys are so amazing to work with. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise. Thank you. Thank you guys for sourcing through us. We appreciate it. We love it. Thank you for having us today and, and everybody showing up. Thank you for the fun tour. We had a good time. Yeah. Good, I'm glad. I'll see you in come July. In. I know, in. I know. I need come to come in. in. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Yeah, the snack table is up. We have, we can feed you. <laughs> we have wine. <laughs> I'm sure we have cannabis somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You're always so much fun. Um, All right. Thank you guys. We miss you. All right. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. 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 Thank you.